دعوتك ربي ومن لسواك فيا رب حقق دعاء من دعاك دعوتك والقلب في فرحة يناجيك يا خالقي في علاك وأنت البصير وأنت العليم بحال ونور الحجام انطياك رأيتك ربي في كل شيء فزاد اليقين بقلب رآك ففي الزرع في الضرع في الأنس بانت بدائع صنعك بعض نداك الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد إن الحمد لله إن الحمد لله تعالى نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له جل عن الشبيه والمثيل والكفء والند والنظير وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه وخليله وخيراته من خلقه وأمينه على وحيه أرسله ربه رحمة للعالمين وحجة على العباد أجمعين فهذا الله تعالى به من الضلالة وبصر به من الجهالة وكثر به بعد القلة وأغنى به بعد العيلة ولم به بعد الشتات وأمن به بعد الخوف فصلوات الله وسلامه عليه وعلى آله الطيبين وأصحابه الغر الميامين ما اتصلت عين بنظر ووعت أذن بخبر وسلم تسليما كثيرا أما بعد أيها الإخوة الكرام أوصيكم ونفسي بتقوى الله في السر والعلن فإن الله جل وعلا أمرنا بتقوى كما جاء في سورة آل عمران يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وفي بداية سورة النساء يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا وفي نهاية سورة الأحزاب يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما وفي وفي آيات أخرى الله سبحانه وتعالى أمرنا بأن بأن نتقي الله بقوله تعالى يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين respected brothers and sisters in in the Islam it is from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala it is from the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa taala it is from the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa taala that Allah allowed us to fast thirty days of the month of Ramadan this year. In addition to that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed us to have the Qiyamul Layl, whether it was after Isha as well as within the last 10 nights before Fajr. It is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is worthy of all the praise and gratitude. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذْ تَأَذَّنَ رَبُّكُمْ لَإِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ وَلَإِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ إِنَّ عَذَابِ لَشَدِيدٍ if you thank me, then I will increase you. In what? In bounties. Anything good that you deserve in this world. If you show ingratitude, indeed my punishment is severe. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who commanded us saying, Remember me, I will remember you. Then show gratitude to me. But do not show ingratitude, ingratitude to me. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's command and prohibition. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who allowed us all in this very play, place that we are here for Salat al Eid today. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who allowed us to see each other despite the pandemic that we had last year. And look at where we are. Those who were patient, those who had sabr, then they have understood the true meaning of Al-Iman. Then they have achieved the company of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna Allah ma'as-sabirin. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with those who are patient. Be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah allowed everything possible during the month of Ramadan in this very place, O servants of Allah. Be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
that Allah allowed us to be in this Eid. Be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with that gratitude, we must ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue what we were doing during the month of Ramadan outside the month of Ramadan. That should be something fruitful. If not, then we better ask ourselves, have we truly worshipped Allah? Have we truly fulfilled the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Have we truly fulfilled the obligations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala set for us during the month of Ramadan? What are we taking from the month of Ramadan, O servants of Allah? What are we achieving? What dare I say, what have we achieved as Ramadan is gone? We don't know whether we'll be alive in the next Ramadan. Every moment that a servant passes by, a goes by, always the servant needs to have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When the taqwa is there, then we would understand the true meaning. When, during the month of Ramadan, when we were fasting, we were having taqwa. As Allah said, That was the purpose of siyam. Outside the month of Ramadan, should we continue without taqwa? We should not. We should rather continue with taqwa. Rather, we should increase so that Allah allows us to be in the next month, next year Ramadan. And that should be something a believing servant should hope for. Have that vision. And without vision, we are nothing. When we lose that vision, when we are just having the days, just for the sake of having the days, and we don't achieve something that is fruitful, we don't ponder upon what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us, then we are losing the dunya as well as the akhirah. We are in clear loss. O oh, servants of Allah, during the month of Ramadan, we tried our best to recite the Quran. We tried our best to understand the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We tried our best to relate ourselves with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We tried our best to propagate the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We tried our best to imitate Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We tried our best to remind each other to do good. We tried our best to do the charity. Donate generously in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, since we had sincerity while we were doing all these actions that are mentioned during the month of Ramadan, do not think that outside the month of Ramadan, it ha these have no value. Rather, the Lord of the month of Ramadan is the Lord of the month of Shawwal, is the Lord of the month of Dhul Qa'dah, is the Lord of the month of Dhul Hijjah, Muharram, Safar, Rabi' al Awal, Rabi' al Thani, Jumad al Ula, Jamad al Thani, Rajab, Sha'ban. Meaning until the following Ramadan. If we want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the straight path, this is what we should take from this Ramadan that just gone. And this is something, O servants of Allah, in the long run, we will slip from. Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is allowing us to come back to his path. We would go different directions rather than being on the straight path. <coughs> Yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-ghafoor, al-rahim, al-tawwab, al-rahim. All we need to do is doing the istighfar and begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. Even outside the month of Ramadan. As much as we sought the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the month of Ramadan, we should continue to do so outside the month of Ramadan. As much repentance that we have done during the month of Ramadan, we should continue to do so outside the month of Ramadan. Why? During the month of Ramadan, we focused for the Akhirah. During the month of Ramadan, we tried our best. Alhamdulillah, I can say the majority of us understood what Akhirah is. Because the life that we are having in this dunya, Wallahi, to the highest degree, it would be meaningless if we have not preferred Akhirah while we are in the dunya. Or else, if we prefer the Akhirah, success is there. As Allah said, وَالْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ وَأَبْقَى If we prefer the dunya, this dunya will fail us in every way possible. This dunya will humiliate us in every way possible. This dunya will testify against us on the day of Qiyamah. If that is not the humiliation, then 
I don't know what humiliation is. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Eid al Fitr that we say, as Rasulullah mentioned in his Sunnah, it is something that will return. It is not limited just on the first, uh, first day of Shaw uh, Shawwal. It is not limited on the 10th of um, uh, Dhul Hijjah. Rather, it returns. It allows us, dare I say, it gives us the opportunity to rectify ourselves, to evaluate ourselves. What we have done from this day to that day, this year to that year. We had Laylatul Qadr. 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, 29th. And we were hoping that any one of those would be Laylatul Qadr. Then we had the 30th day of Ramadan. Allah allowed us another day. <coughs> you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is merciful? You see how Allah is allowing us to live another day? So that there can be people to glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that there can be people who show gratitude. Those who are shakirin, those who are sajidin, those who are taibin, those who are raki'in. All these, if we continue to do so, we'll have success. And that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants from us. The rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala overpowers the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah said in the hadith Qudsi. Rahmati taghlibu ghadabi. In the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Rahmati wasi'at kulla shay. My mercy has encompassed everything. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reserved 99 portions of mercy out of 100 for the, day, for, for the akhirah. One portion of the mercy that we are seeing in this dunya. 99 portions of mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the akhirah. Let us think about it. Let us be from those portions of mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the life that we are having, majority of us are servants of Allah, if not all of us, leading a lifestyle that has no connection to the akhirah. Focus on the akhirah, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam. If you always have the intention to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make your ways easy for you. Even if the whole world is against you. If you do something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibited you, if you abstain from it, even if the whole world forces you, and if you didn't do that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will keep you dignified. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the owner of al-izza. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who disgraces and humiliates. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلِلَّهِ الْعِزَّةُ وَلِرَسُولِهِ وَلِمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَكِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ أَوْ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala belongs the izzah, the dignity, the honor, as well as it belongs to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam leads to following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, abstaining from what Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prohibited us from, meaning abstaining from the prohibitions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Goes back to the verse of Surah Al-Hajar, وَمَا آتَاكُمُ الرَّسُولُ فَخُذُوهُ وَمَا نَهَاكُمْ عَنْهُ فَانْتَهُ Whatever the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam brought for you, take it. And whatever he prohibited you from, abstain from it. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all our actions that we have done during the month of Ramadan. Ameen. Nafa'ani Allahu wa iyaakum bima fihi minal ayatu wa dhikr al-hakim. Wa bihadhi Sayyid al-Mursaleen. Aqulu ma tasma'oon. Wa astaghfirullahu li wa lakum wa lisa'ir al-Muslimina min kulli dhammin. Fa astaghfiruhu wa tubu ilayh. Innahu huwa al-tawabu al-Rahim. Innahu huwa al-Ghafuru al-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah ala ihsanihi wa shukru lahu ala tawfiqihi wa amtinani wa ashadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lahu ta'ziman li sha'ni wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh adda'i ila ridwani sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin illa yawmin din amma ba'd Allahumma la ilma lana illa ma'alimtana innaka anta al-alimu al-hakim My dear brothers and sisters in Islam a hadith that is recorded by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal al-Shaybani in his Musnad as well as it is recorded by Abu Dawood in his Sunan. 
Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that Samaitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa yaqul When a man visits his sick Muslim brother, he is walking among the harvests of Jannah until he sits down. When he sits down, he is covered with mercy. If it is morning, 70,000 angels will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send blessings upon him until the evening. If it is evening, 70,000 angels will ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to send blessings upon him until morning. The wording of this hadith is by Imam Ahmad rahmatullahi alayhi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Muzzammil, he said in the last verse, وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِدُهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ هُوَ خَيْرٌ وَأَعْظَمْ أَجْرًا Whatever that you have presented for yourselves that is of khair, of goodness, تَجِدُهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ You will find it with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala هُوَ خَيْرٌ وَأَعْظَمْ أَجْرًا It is better and greater in reward. وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمِ And seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is oft forgiving, oft merciful. Remind each other of forgiveness. As much as we need the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sins that we are committing, knowingly, unknowingly. If it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we do not beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness, then we will not be forgiven. It is only Allah who forgives the sin. As Allah said, وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who forgives the sin. Beg for forgiveness for the sins that was outside the month of Ramadan and you have rectified or at least tried to rectify them during the month of Ramadan and you do not go back to those sins. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's tawfiq to keep you upon the steadfastness the way that you were during the month of Ramadan. It goes same for our sisters. It goes same for our daughters. It goes same for our wives our mothers remind each other to do good to servants of Allah wallahi nothing can come out but good when we are always upon the sirat al mustaqim and that is something quite often we forget no matter how many times we say ihdinas sirat al mustaqim we struggle to understand the meaning of ihdinas sirat al mustaqim the path that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanted us to follow the path that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam always wanted us so much so that Rasulullah cried by saying Ummati Ummati this is where we are O servants of Allah my dear brothers and sisters in Al-Islam Badiru Bil A'mal Salihah have that competition Sabiqu have that competition to do good the more good you do Wallahi Ladi La Ilaha Ghayru you will find those piled up for you in Jannah, in the, in the Akhirah. Before the Akhirah, the Barzakh that we will have when we are dead, when we are, when we are in our graves, those good actions will comfort us. Those good actions will comfort us from the fire in the hell. And that is what we are missing, O servants of Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unite our hearts Amen. to do khair. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to unite our hearts upon la ilaha illallah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise us with those who are siddiqeen, with those who are shuhada, with those who are salihin, with those who are anbiya, with those who are rusul. Alayhi salatu wa salam. Allahumma ameen. Ibadallah, i'lamu anna Allah amarakum bi salatu wa salami ala nabiyyi wa qala fi muhkam al-tanzeel. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabiyyi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallim wa taslima. Wa ana nasib ibn malikin radiyallahu ta'ala anhu وأن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من صلى عليه صلاة واحدة صلى الله عليه عشر صلوات وحط عنه عشر خطيئات ورفع به عشر درجات رواه الإمام أحمد في مسنده فصلوا وسلموا على سيد الأولين والآخرين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وارض اللهم عن خلفائه الراشدين الأئمة المهديين الذين قضوا 
وأمروا بالحق وبه كانوا يعدلون أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر الصحابة أجمعين وعنا معهم بعفوك ومنك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وذل الكفر والكافرين وانصر عبادك المؤمنين المستضعفين في كل بلدان المسلمين يا رب العالمين اللهم كل المستضعفين عونا وظهيرا وهيئ لهم من لدنك وليا ونصيرا اللهم عليك باليهود المعتدين وسائر الكفرة الظالمين اللهم اقذف الرعب في قلوبهم وأنزل بهم بأسك الذي لا يرد عن القوم المجرمين يا قوي يا عزيز ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين ربنا أتمم لنا نورنا وعف عنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الأبرار ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين وانصرنا على القوم المجرمين وانصرنا على القوم المنافقين عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وأنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العظيم الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر ولله الحمد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله